Super Bass 2, uh, Burks works. Anyway, this very uh, scratch screen, which is, is a screen protector. Fuck, thank God. Um, because I took it out and about, and it was like, ha, 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 I'm going to end up in the console of your truck and go, wee. Um, this is a $900 DAP. Thus, the classy S wallpaper. This is the Shanling M6 Ultra. And anytime you put it at Ultra after the, after anything, it's automatically the best. Remember that. Um, because what's beyond Ultra besides Plus Ultra? And it doesn't work for this. Uh, so, I was just going to sit here, do this on its own. I've been using it. I've been, I've been just different headphones, different music, different places, experiencing it. And then I sat down and I looked up the price because I, of course, do as little research as possible so my brain can just decide if I love or hate something before we get into it. And it's $919. And I'm like, ooga, like an old car. Just ooga. And I'm like, well, wait a second. All right, the last and best DAP I've done, Hibby R6 Mark III. So uh, M6 Ultra r6 mark three and then i went you know what 919 dollars reminds me of 919 dollars which is the exact oh which is the exact price of the ibasso dx240 which is kind of like the old hat winner of daps if you go watch my video on that from like a year ago and it's got the special adapter because it's only got 2.5 millimeter. And I was like, all right, it's a, you know, the interchangeable amp modules is an expensive thing. You got to buy the more expensive amp module to get all the power. And then I fucking was doing power comparisons. Uh, feet, uh, ZMF Atrium, which isn't exactly like the, the headphone you take out to go shopping. Unless you're awesome, AKA me. And then, so it's like, this is hard to drive. This, this is, a, you really shouldn't be going portable with this, but let's just hypothetically. Well, hypothetically, maxed out on this, hypothetically maxed out on the Hibby, and they're both almost identical in power output. Like we'll talk about sound quality when we get to sound quality, which will be in the timestamp, but for actual like, can it, does it have the chones to run these? Both of these are a yes. At like 90% on high gain, you'd be you'd be fine. 100 was just like, all right, still listenable. Some deviation in like, in like I think the quality drops a bit. Like, I, I, like when you get up to like the max, you should never run anything maximum, maximum, maximum. Cause that just, you then you get a bigger amplifier. The surprise was when I did this to the Ibasso, and I put up to 100, I rolled the little, little wheel up to 100, and I'm like, wow, this is actually, I think, a little bit louder. That They can actually push this better than these. And then I realized I was on medium gain. And then I put it to high gain, and I'm like, holy fuck, the Ibasso is the most powerful of the three. $900, but like a, a 2.5, a little replaceable amp module, and this isn't even the powerful module? What? Sticker on this one, because I've kept it forever. I've decided not to sell that one. Still have the original case on the Hibby in case I do want to sell it in the yard sale first to the 10th of every month. If you're a patron or subscriber, so subscriber, you get to buy things that I'm done reviewing. Like if I have 19 daps, you know, maybe 14 of them get sold. Um, but let's focus on the Shanling, which is the star of the, of the show, which it should be the star of the show. The fact that it's like somehow not the most powerful one is is just it blows my mind but not my headphones shanling is known for the creamy sound quality they've always been the one the shanling m6 the non-ultra was the the goat the goat i had the m6 and the m8 the even bigger one that was like the mo i sold the m8 kept the m6 just kept it because i'm like this is just it's smaller it's better it's lighter this is roughly the same size as the old M6. You've got balanced output, 3.5 millimeter output, USB, SD card, three buttons, wheel with a button. That's it. Done. Um, I was looking up the Android versions, and here's a fun little factoid. They're very proud to announce, Shanling is super proud to announce, they are finally on an open version of Android 10. Android 12 for the Hibby. 12. And then, and here's another thing that blew my mind. I'm like, well, this is, you know, this looks, like, and I get into the actual, this, like, oh, this is nice. It looks, looks good. This is nine. So the Ibasso is sort of outdated on Android nine. 
and then we go to Android 10 with the brand new Ultra, and then we go back to the Hibby, which only came out like two months ago, and it's 12. So <laughs> I'm still waiting on Fio to wake up and be like anything after like seven. Um, but somehow nine seems really fucking... F we want, what do you want to talk about first? Sound, sound quality? Power we sort of touched on already. As far as raw power, the Ibasso wins. It's, uh, it's, you know, flip a fucking coin between the Hibby. And, oh, I should probably mention the price on the Hibby in case you didn't click the link in the description. This is only $500. This, this one, like, best dap of the latest roundup and only was at $500. So now, I, I mean, it was the only one I could bring out to compare because it's like, there, I don't have a more expensive Hibby dap. And you know what? I don't think I need to bump it up to a grand to fight. These two can fight right here. This is like the heavyweight champion award, but one guy is like 80 pounds underweight, but can still punch like a motherfucker. So I also want to point out, we, we, we've already toured this unit. This is black, by the way, it comes in green. It's, it's got like a glass back, but it's just black. It's the Shanling logo, high-res stickers. It really just like nonchalant buttons. And you know, it's very it's very plain. It's only got the two outputs balanced and headphone. And the bottom is just, it's also glass up here and down here, by the way. So it's just constant fingerprints. I, br I brought out the rag and I'm just like, oh God, am I gonna set an alarm? No, undo. Un un fucking do Okay, very good, we're good. I'm gonna shut the screen off. Yeah, you can see I, I damaged the uh, screen protector on this. But it's like, okay, cool. Very nice $900 player, clean. Pull out the hippie again, and it's like wheel on the top, which I, I've come to realize I don't like from having this and using it, because once you put it in this protective plastic case, it's literally fucking impossible. And the thing is, I think fatter fingers would help because it would like flex in there. And it's just, I can, I, here, you ready? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it down from 100. 97, 96, 95. I can't get a hold of it. 90, 988. You gotta basically do that and then touch the screen. So I don't like that knob. The buttons, however, the four buttons here, screen basically on off. Uh, oh, by the way, I have the screen set to, if I take it off of nightlight mode, it's way too blue. We'll talk about screens in a second. We're still talking about other things. So power here and you get to three buttons like boom 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 right there if you're holding it like i would assume you're holding a player you have access to turn on and off the screen and then next track last track play pause and then the only problem is you got to fuck with this volume knob that's just impossible but then the real thing comes when you get to the bottom and you've got five ports you've got the usb you've got your 3.5 and your 4.4 but you've got another 3.5 and another 4.4 that are line outs for shoving to an amplifier or a preamp or something else you're doing so they've given you five ports now this only has the two which again is fine like there's nothing wrong with that they've avoided uh, 2.5 because nothing nothing needs a 2.5 just breathe i feel like they're so similar in build too, as far as height. I think the Hibby's a little bit taller. It is in the case, but it's a little bit tall. It's a little bit thicker. You're getting a little bit smaller here. As far as sound quality goes, here's the here's the real crux of it. It's a crux. I don't think there's four hundred more dollars in sound quality in the Shanling over the Hibby. That wasn't always the case. It was always I would come, I would line up a bunch of of portables and i would know the shanling is gonna edge it out it's the shanlings are the king of edging it out giggity um but through the use of it and like you know using other amps i'm testing down here with things and my my i am channel if you haven't checked out the in-ear fetish channel go um go grab the uh symphonium tritons from headphones.com because those are top five i am and i know from testing them here and here and here and then putting it on this it's like oh my god it's all sounds great and then just now, I'm putting everything on the fucking Hibby too, which is not quite half the price, but less. Hibby changed their ways internally and made it great. Hibbies are now sound, they might be better sounding than most of the Shanlings. I think this Ultra with its newest bullshit, four AKM DAX, four. Oh my God, that's so many decks. I think they're on par with each other. 
So this is kind of a re-review of the Hibby, just because I have to, because I would be a negligent YouTuber if I'm like, yeah, this thing is great, it's $900, whatever, let's ignore the competition. No, these two things stand up and say, what? So more po most power is the Ibasso, and guess what? Sounds maybe, I might prefer the sound of the Ibasso to both of these. Just want to say that out loud. Because I, it's the reason this thing lives here with the stickers that mean it's living here. <sighs> Let's just assume, just for the sake of this video, because everyone's going to be watching, they're, they're biting their nails. Oh my God, Zeus, which one do I get for sound quality? Let's assume all three of them are good enough. Can you handle that as audio files? Because I know people love like tier lists and S class, A class. But what if I told you all three of these will satisfy every one of your fucking needs and you don't have to question it further? Is that me copping out? Or is that you really being too concerned? Well, we are talking about 2023 levels. Well, 2021, 2022, 2023 levels of technology here. This is the future. These things are pushing any of these headphones, basically any of them, I don't know, it's 800, 600 ohm, but any of them to well beyond what you could probably get on your home setup with a stack. So do we want to fixate on maybe I heard a bell just a little bit wider? Was like the soundstage was a little bit wider because it's killing me. It's killing the audiophile community. This is now turned into a community outreach video stop fixating on graphs and these little detail thing like i know that's part of the joy of it all it's like oh well, mine is better my sign ad is higher than yours by 0.4 decibels <laughs> my job is to figure out usability sound quality obviously doesn't trump all do you see what i did there Sound quality trumps all is not what I, no, stop. You have to still live with this shit. Live with it every day, hold it in your hands, put it in your pocket, charge it, uncharge it, move data onto it. There's so much more that surrounds it besides just a listening experience. Now, if you're one of those people who's gonna be like, I need 100%, all I care about is sound quality, what eight minute battery life, and it gets 700 degrees in my pocket and was guaranteed to do nerve damage. I don't care, Zeos, as long as it sounds the best. Ooh, Arcane is playing. Then this is perfectly fine video for you. You know why? Close your fucking eyes. They're all amazing. And these, I think, think this is serious logic or something. But another thing I have to complain about, and it's, it's less specific, is the DAC chip used in a, in a DAP Again, five, six years ago mattered. AKM versus ESS versus whatever the fuck Burr Browns are out there at the time. That mattered. But again, but now, since the AKM factory burned to the ground and everybody had to use, had to use Saber decks, and they were hammering at the Saber decks to the point where they were like, perfect. And now Cirrus Logic is making a comeback with all sorts of things. So now we've got decks and it's like, Oh, this one has legitimately four brand new... Where's the picture of it? I want to show the hysterical picture. There's a hyster... It doesn't scroll fast enough. Hibby... No, that's a Hibby one, right? Or the Shanling one. Yeah, the Hibby has, like, whatever. But the Shanling has four new AKM 4493S stacks. Four of them. That's so many. Obviously, the DAC matters. Now, here's what I was... My actual point to the statement. The amplifier matters more. The amplifier matters 85% of how well this gets powered. The DAC isn't providing power to this. The DAC is just converting digital to analog. And yes, you have to do that cleanly, but we're at the point now, and I will reiterate this as many fucking times as I feel like it, um, that I think I believe and trust most DACs. Most, down to a hundred bucks for a little standalone unit to a thousand dollar unit. It's like, oh my God, all this. you know what? I trust it, it's fine, it's fine. Stop fixating on the DACs. Concern yourself with the amplifiers, where they top out. So now when you get to the real nitty gritty of like, okay, plug this in, max power, plug this in, max power, plug this in, not max power, because you'll die. Um, I'd probably give the Ibasso my biggest nod for sound quality, followed by the Shanling. It's just smooth as butter. And then followed by the fucking 
the Hibby R6 Mark III. And it's like, but there's not enough of a gap for me to like concern myself. Like, this is why I don't do tier lists. What I'm going to do, tier S, tier A, and tier B? Is that what you want to see? Then no one buys the Hibby. But the Hibby has so much more going for it. And for less money. So they'd all be fucking S tier because they're delivering music in a fucking wonderful way. And we should all be happy with that. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to, like, I feel like the community is just so fucking bitter and angry. And I just want to fix that. And it's like my ranting and raving will upset most people who are hearing it. Like, oh, the CEOs doesn't even care about sound quality anymore. Oh, I care. But there's a line. And as long as everything that I'm reviewing crosses the line of like, this is probably not worth the money versus this is worth the money and brings enjoy, then it's, it gets a pass. Sound quality to me is a pass. There's a, there's, a, there's a bar. And it's not that low a bar. Jesus Christ, man. I've heard some shit in my day. But we just got to stop fixating on things like what DAC, you know, model number it's using. Uh, I would be more concerned about the Android version it's using because these are all Android players. I'd be more concerned about the playback time because the new one uh, up to 13 hours. I did. I got real high there. Hold on. Hold on. Shandling uh, operating time. I, I kept open several of these. I think you have a 10 hour battery life. Yeah. Okay, so like they're all, and that's another thing. I was reminiscing, who remembers? Who remembers this? Let's go into story time because I know you guys love when I just fucking veer off course. Who remembers the M2? The fucking, oh, what the hell brand name was that? Oh God, I love them. I have it. Oh, you know what? What's the name of the the, the, the the eternal M2 little player that was like 100 hours of playback? Why am I brain? Why am brain am I? This is what a prepared YouTuber would have thought of the scripted things that I don't. It was a weird fucking name. Okay. The point is, there are players that existed almost a decade ago that had a hundred hours of playback time, and it was real. I used to keep it in my car unplugged, just plug it into a headphone out, turn it on, go driving, come back. For fucking weeks, I wouldn't have to charge that fucking player. Why can't I think of the name of it? Um, battery life on all these is roughly the same. Nine hours, eight hours, 10 hours, or nine hours, 13 hours, 10 hours. Anything over eight and under 20 is like the same to me. I don't know how it is to you. I don't know if every little second counts. So I need it to last exactly 13 and a half hours. Zios, can it do it? Well, it also depends on how hard you're driving. What headphones? It also depends on if your files have to be decompressed. Are they fucking MQA? Which they won't be soon. <laughs> um, I'm just, I'm, hold on. I got to figure out the name of that fucking player. Holy shit. I would have never. The Koan D, Planu D was the 32, what, 2016 it came out. So this channel has been around since 2013, and I had a Koan player before this, and it was like the right size, and it had the little glowing thing, and had the, the buttons. I wonder if I, I still have it. I never would have sold it. Yeah, the Koan Planu D was a 100-hour battery life. And it played, it was 3.5 millimeter. This was 2016 we're talking about. I don't know where Koan is now. Fuck, man. I, I would collaborate with them on a portable because it's eternal like i don't know how they did it how do you make a thing with a screen that's next track it never ran android but it was like ow 100 hours so now that all these have fallen asleep from that searching they're all close i've shuffled them now and i'm confused okay this is what i'm reviewing i'm reviewing this one i'm reviewing the shanling m6 ultra let's talk a little bit about interface um, the Ibasso wins, the end. Literally, it's the best, it's the smooth, it's the, like, I don't know if this is gonna come out on video, I'm mean, 1080 p 60 here, but like, we're just gonna pull down like the, like the Android menu. Um, the worst is the Hibby here. Even though the Hibby's on 12, and here's the thing, even though the Hibby's on 12, which is the newest operating system, it's got the slowest f interface. It's better than that, that Fio, but, I don't know, it's just not smooth. And it's the screen is very blue. It's not the cleanest and clearest screen you've ever seen. 
The Shanling M6 Ultra is very smooth and fast. It's got a little bit of delay and we're on 10. And then for some reason, fucking nine here is just, the delay is there, but it's butter. I, I just, everything, everything about it is, well, that was, eh, that's fine. This, this is, is fine in app. Fucking Ibasso, hands down for the screen quality. This is too blue. This is acceptable. Not like the gray. Like, this is as bright as it gets. Like, it's bright. It'll work outside. But this is like brighter and will work outside. And then this one is like just blue. But actually, probably the brightest of the three. It's just like, it's it's blue. Um, as far as build and feel in your hand, I basso again. It's I basso. It's got the curved glass back. It's just got. It's got. It feels. It. It's why it's not in a case. It feels fucking expensive. The volume and the buttons right here, and then you got the hibby, which is a big square metal box, and I put it in the case, and you can't get to the volume at all. And then you got the shandling, which is. Again, we got the volume here, and you got the buttons on this side, so it's a little bit different to control it. Doesn't come with a case. That's another thing for a thousand dollars. You have to spend a little extra. I'll link to the case in the description because I saw it on Amazon. Um, but there is a, there's a leather case for this, and it doesn't come with it. And I was like going through. Here's the the packaging, and I'm like, ooh, where is it? That's a USB cable. It's really nice. That's all you got to know. Extra screen protectors, which is nice because if I sell this in the yard sale and it's kind of looking like that, um, you can replace that screen protector all on your own because I don't want to risk fucking it up and putting a bubble in it. You can risk that. But look at this fucking leather bound M6 Ultra like binding book DVD collector set that came in like the M6 Ultra sleeve, which is the, the pretty green with the the rainbow letters. It's a wonderful package. It feels, it's almost worth it. That's the problem. It's almost worth it. $900 is a fucking chunk. It's a thick boy chunk. It's something that you can't like, also you can't flip the screen on this. I actually love the fact that these have the outputs on the bottom and some of the other ones I've done, you can flip it so you can have the outputs on the bottom or the top and still control it. And I can't, for the life of me, find it in the Shanling. It might be somewhere buried in the Android settings, but it's it's just not like right there. That's that's up there. That's loud. As you can tell, we were testing loud. So what else is it to talk about with the DAP? We got to talk about battery life. We we're, we're roughly the same. Anywhere from nine to fifteen is the same because it's going to vary. Um, screen responsiveness. It's the second best next to the Ibasso. It has. Android 10 versus 12 or 9, even though I'm fucking very happy with the way 9 works out on this. Um, it's got enough power. Like, the Abasso is just fucking silly somehow with power. It's just silly. Uh, it also murders the battery when you have it, like, high gain. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Um, sound quality. We're at an era now where I don't even fucking worry. Who's yours? Which one should I get? Which one sounds better? Don't fucking worry about it, man. Or woman, just just know you're gonna have you have either one of these is going to be better than what people had on their desks five years ago, like full stacks from five years ago. Uh, do I have any equipment here from five years ago? The Solaris maybe, but that's like a two band. Like what's here that was like that old five, six, seven years ago? It's the best Bluetooth speaker that's ever existed. I have to make it not. Uh, copyright infringement me yeah no I I. it's getting harder and harder each and every year and it's not my hearing loss or anything it's just everything has gotten so, I'm going to do a whole separate video on this where everything has gotten so good that like ASR and anybody who's doing measurements those are all standing out as reviews and fucking forums and shit because it's like look look this is the sign out on this or the we're beyond the point of hearing things be better. As humans, we haven't evolved hard enough. Unless you're six years old, you have all your hearing up to 24K, and you're like 
sitting there with the, f- the fucking gendo hands, sipping whiskey as, f- as a four-year-old going, yes, I do believe I can hear the different filter settings on this. Oh, yes. You can't. We, we need to, it's, it's becoming, it, this is great news. This is fucking fantastic news. Like, we should have a fucking parade. Things have gotten sounding so good that it doesn't fucking matter anymore. If that isn't something to celebrate, I don't know, it's like the end of a war. But you know what the new war will be? And this is why I'm interested in it. Features, feel, functions, the Fs. Give me the three Fs, bro. Features, feels, functions, fundability. I don't know, uh, fungibility? There's some more Fs. There's a lot of Fs we could probably work into this. Like, let's just say everyone agreed with me. And you're looking at the Hibby, or you're looking at the Shanling, or you're looking at the Ibasso. Everyone on Earth would buy the Ibasso. Man, it's a fat, it's got a 2.5 fucking millimeter. Because it just feels better, and it looks better. It's going to be about feels and looks. It's going to be like the old school Sony Walkmans. They didn't make CD players that you carried around or mini disc players that sounded better. I mean, maybe they did back in the day, but it was all roughly the same. It was all about what kind of weird feature, weird function. Is it a holographic display? Does it, is it in the shape of a stick? I want that sort of shit. I want to see a new era breakthrough where it isn't just a fucking numbers game. Everyone's numbers are spectacular. Why should I buy the product? What are you giving me? And Shanling is not there yet. Hibby, for $500, you get, you know, newest Android, you get more space, you get more outputs in the bottom, everything's wrapped in gold. And then you got the Ibasso, which has got like just, just someone like hewn it. And it's so light, it's so much lighter than these other ones. Like, it's just like, it's like 35% lighter than these other ones. It's just, it's just a better unit to fucking touch. The screen goes to the very edge. Ah. Anyway, this is what a Z reviews is like. This is what a Z review should always be like. It's not just, hey Zeus, what about this product? No, 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 no. Let's talk about what's happening in your fucking soul. All right. Have you? Do you? I, I'm not here to sell you a product. I'm here to change the way you think about the world, and then tell you to click the links in the description to buy the thing. Anyway, um, yeah, thank you for sending this out. And the Hibby and the Ibasso. I know Linsol sent that one out. And thank you to Zach from ZMF. The Calderas are coming. After I get back from Munich, I will be in Munich. Probably when you're watching this, I'm in Munich. The way that things are timing out. You should see some shorts. I think I'm going to try to pump shorts out while I'm in Munich. Because it'll be so much easier than trying to edit footage on my laptop and then upload it as an actual YouTube video. I just want to drive people. Like, Here's some content that's happening right now. Um, yeah, no, yeah. Links to these, all three of these, make your own fucking decisions, all right? I'm here to help you make decisions, not to make them for you. And a lot of other people just make them for you, which is great because they're a better salesman than I am, but I'm just here to help or confuse you. That's the other thing I could do is just make you all confused. I, you come out of this video being more lost than when you came in, but having a better understanding of yourself and the world and uh, waifu wallpaper will we'll, we'll get you through the things. Waifu wallpaper available in the uh, description. There's a, a link to a wallpaper where you get every wallpaper I've ever used ever for the last 10 years. By the way, 10 year anniversary this month. Face reveals in Munich because I'm fucking tired of not. Just not. I'm just, I just, who gives a shit? I'm just, I'm a human. I've even shaved and, and everything. Um, yeah, links. Patreon subscribe star support this channel. The ramblings, like, I'm not worried about if you're going to buy one of these or not buy one of these. Because people who support me are here to keep me going. They keep me free. When you, when you're, when you have to sell something, then you're not free. I don't have to sell shit. I'm just telling you what I believe. So Patreon, subscribe, start five dollars a month. See your views early. Participate in those yard sales I was talking about where you could just buy. Honestly, hand, gun to my head, I'm, I'd sell both of these and keep the Ibasso still. And it's an Android 9, and it's fucking a year and a half old. It's still the one I want to hold in my hand. And somehow the most powerful. That that really weirds me out. Um, but yeah, five dollars a month. Yard sale, five dollars a month. See you really five dollars a month. Sound demo oasis. All the sound demos when I do sound demos to record headphones and speakers. Um, I took them off of YouTube because YouTube's a bunch of dicks, and uh, I can use any tracks I want, any wallpapers I want. You get to get to those for five dollars a month. You get into that private thing. Also, a lot of the unedited, like uh, when I go to Munich and Axpona, those things end up in that private area there. Ten dollars a month. 
uh, support me there and you get to ask me questions directly in the patronage chat, which is behind the scenes, which is when I get something, when I've made a decision, like right after I'm done with this, I'll pull up my, pick up my phone and be like, so anyway, I reviewed this. Here's what I thought. Fuck it. You'll get that today, like immediately, like no wait. And you also get to ask me questions like, hey, CEOs, I have this room. What do I do here? I have this budget. What do I do here? Always include your budget, by the way. And if you're in the $10 chat, you get into the behind the scenes, you get into the swap meet channel where you get to buy, sell, and trade gear. And you know that you're in that for life. So yeah, wallpapers, links, and fucking waxing lyrical. I had a decent hot dog today. This is not coffee Zeus. This is not drunk Zeus. This is not high Zeus. This is Zeus who had two hot dogs and was out in the beautiful weather and was just like, you know what? All this audio shit, people are taking it way too seriously. Way too seriously. I gotta go back to the foundations of this channel, which was just don't take shit too seriously, but enjoy it. And don't waste your money, but don't be a stingy prick. You know, there's like a balance for everything. We're going to find that balance specifically for you, Kevin. And I'll see you again in two days.